Hi, I'm John Green. I practice law in Springfield, New Jersey, and my tip today is going to be on who to depose first. I'm going to give you that tip in the context of the type of law that I practice, which is uh, employment law, and I represent exclusively plaintiffs. Uh, it's, been our, it's been my experience that the best way to go about uh, preparing the discovery in an employment case is to depose the decision maker first. Here's why. You want to find out what the decision maker uh, says and, uh, and did in terms of whatever, however, affected your client's personnel status. Did the decision maker rely on input from other subordinates or employees or customers, vendors, and the like? Uh, if they did, uh, or supposedly they did, then what you're going to do is then after you finish the deposition of the decision maker, it then gives you the opportunity to go ahead and depose those subordinates, those vendors or customers and the like, to see in fact whether the decision maker is telling the truth. If you've got the decision maker lying, and you've got the decision maker uh, coming up with some pretext, you are halfway home to winning your case. So that's the rule of thumb in plaintiff's employment uh, practice.